So here is how to needle the scars. Scars. And what do you do with the scars? Usually you need to think about scar is adhesion of uh, several layers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually if you are healthy, every layer they have a space to move. In between is a tissue connect, but it has a space to move. Mm -hmm. But if you cut through them or there's a big impact or internal bleeding or usually it's a cut they're going to become adhesion lock all the layers like the c-section and, C and all append kind of the, scar, appendicitis yeah. Yeah. abdominal surgery yeah okay okay so once the different layer heal in the same together. part mm -hmm. become a scar tissue mm -hmm. originally they can slice with different direction to right. do its function but right. if you lock in one point it's hard to make move. them to move different direction mm -hmm. and when you try to move it's going to become a pull of force mm -hmm. okay if that's a button pull, if pull the core, you might have a knee inner, the femur inner rotate if a knee issue or bunion. Mm -hmm. Bunion? Oh. Bunion, bunion is right there. Bunion is by femur inner rotate, so TB has to outer rotate. So the awful arch clips. So if scar at one side, usually bunion at one side, scar at the middle, usually it's bunion at two sides. Oh, wow. Okay. Or tailbone injury, bunion at two sides, mostly. Okay. If a scar pull top, it's like close. Something tight in here, you might not feel here, but you might have a neck problem. Or pull to the side, you might have a frozen shoulder. Mm. Okay. When that happen, it doesn't mean age, it just means the system cannot compensate anymore. So yeah. how, how do you know if it's pulling up or down? It's up. First is uh, it's sinking. And when you slide, it's mm -hmm. not moving with Not moving with your not, fingers. Not, not moving with, with uh, the other part. Also, when so you when you go down, down looks what? okay, but when you go up, right, feel the resistance, it's not far down. And if you stretch them, pull down, feels okay, but go up, feel resistance. So then that means this scar is pulling up. Doesn't matter, we just need to lose them. Oh, so it doesn't matter what direction, you just, just have to lose the, it just means the it's, adhesion. Yeah, it just means it's not far down. So if you feel the resistance, let's say for him upper, then you know he later might have some problem with the shoulder or something. Maybe neck. we're gonna guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. More likely. Or they have a shoulder issue. If you cannot solve that issue, you have to solve this. Then you this. have to solve this. Okay. And sometimes the issue is that when you young, you rich. If, young and rich. Okay, young, rich of a body. Okay, not oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If for example, if here has an issue, uh -huh. you lose fifty points. Okay. Oh. For example, and when you still, every part is fine, everybody can lend it 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and you're still fine. Mm -hmm. Okay? But when you get older, you accumulate more issues like this. Mm -hmm. Like some, something borrow another 50, something borrow another. Once it doesn't have enough space, and one thing happen, it need a hundred. And no, but everybody borrow the space already. Mm -hmm. Then this thing cannot be here because everybody borrow, you have no more space to. No more soldiers to help. So that time, if you only do here, you cannot solve that. Mm -hmm. You need to do everywhere this, else. And has a fifty to them, and solve, solve this at the fifty, mm -hmm. and then have a space to make it. I see. Space. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So the idea is to to treat the scar to to, to, to if that's a different layers, we can hold the layers and move the others. For example, we only hold the skin layers. Mm -hmm. When we move, make the the leg to move. So we use the leg to pull, pull the pelvic, pull the muscle oh, to one direction. Oh, without needling, you use the body's own yeah. force. And we hold the skin, so it becomes different different direction. Mm -hmm. So adhesion is kind of hold one thing, and let the other thing go to the other side, and the adhesion between gonna force. Does so it break it all up? Yeah. So sometimes you're gonna be surprised. Like even the C section of forty years, when you do that, you even see the skin split. So how many times do you have to do this to mm, usually get rid of? Yeah. Never guarantee, but just you have to see this and know that's an issue and try to mm -hmm. reduce that. Okay. But never guarantee how many sections. Okay. So Sometimes you... lucky if one section you lose enough and you have a, mm -hmm. like I said, 50, you got 40 and you can bend to their end. So use mm -hmm. this 40 to solve that issue. That might be good enough. Wow. Well, okay. But sometimes if the poor part is from a deep layer not a shallow layer and you have to do all the way to solve this issue have enough space to the other issue so the manual way is to stretch this usually that's for skin and then move the knees around yeah okay move the knees around so you do this uh, if that's the upper body that's scarring here you can hold in here and flex or extend the muscle same thing oh okay okay, okay? 
So so this, same thing like I told you before, the mosquito bite, same thing. Yeah. You hold the skin there or to different direction and use a active gun to lose the skin there. Or use the needle to lose the skin. Same, same. So totally in this same case, hand. you spread it and you let the patient move the knees left and right. Yeah, and okay. you try to spread and try to give a different direction. So like for right now, I okay, open so, uh -huh. and to this side and another leg to the other side. Move the knee to the and left. Let the knee come to this side. To the right. yeah. Okay, can you move your knees to the other side? One knee only or both knees? Both, both. So oh. whole pubic can move. So okay, so whole pelvis should move to the okay. right and to the left. And you stretch different direction and to keep repeating doing the same thing. So you keep Thank doing you. different direction? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay? uh, I'm not really doing that, I just explain. And <laughs> if skin you there, you feel you oh. okay, move. Oh, okay. Feel the next not moving <laughs> level and use needle on the not moving level. And same thing, go to one direction and needle all in and go to the other direction. Uh, needle all in, same, same strategy. This you needle, sure? one needle, one small needle. I think the one gauge forty. Because that one, yeah. that one, that is the truth. I'll try real quick. Okay? <laughs> Oh, that's a very no, thin no, one. No, no, For example, I'm ticklish too. Okay. That's also we we'll just make so it going. Saying, uh, <laughs> and that's too. Sh actually, you need to use a little longer to hit the layer. But this is gauge forty, I think. Okay. Very thin. For facial acupuncture. Mm -hmm. If no. painful, you can also this is for a thicker layer. I, I mean, yes. <laughs> that's half an inch. That's too shallow. Too shallow. Yeah. Let me do one more time. You know, one time means we just to demonstrate, so we don't need to really do that. Okay. For example, we go in a little bit. Okay. And go one direction. And same thing. You're and still you... open with yeah. your hands. And we uh, does not necessary, but easier to insert a needle. So for all and so are you picking the edge of the scar? The yeah, I try to try to find a hard part and not oh, a needle, wh just keep there's hard part. Yeah, hard so, part means an adhesion part. And so go you to, might need like ten needles. Yeah, you might scar. need several needles. Okay. And for different layer, like right now this needle is very shallow. I'm mm -hmm. not only on the thin layer. Mm -hmm. like if you want to hit the different layer, muscle layer, you need a longer needle. And same thing just Go into the scar a little bit. So it takes a lot of feeling. Yeah, yeah. Feeling yeah. where there's. If you uh, don't have feeling, that's fine. Just poking just whatever poking. you feel tight, <laughs> no, or, no. or just poking the scar different directions. Just do that. Just you do don't, the okay. Yeah. So then for this scar here in the middle, <laughs> is the same thing. Then you 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 open it this way and turn the knees. That's back and forth. a little bit. Okay, vertical way is actually is a little bit different. Oh, but that's different harder. Than here. You need to do this first, and that one is harder to imagine. Okay. So that's why the keloid happened. Mm -hmm. You have a keloid. Yeah. If sometimes you cut yourself, if you clean that and put that together, it can heal perfectly, right? Mm -hmm. Because in between there's no tension difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's perfect M, so it's mm -hmm. perfect heal. But if in between has a separate tension, mm -hmm. so when you cut, you have a separate force. And even if you put them together, it's try to separate. Mm -hmm. So we can imagine the heel in between. Oh, that's why you had the keloid. So become keloid. So I keloid see. happen is a something try to separate different way. Um, Usually in a vertical way, so in this way. Okay. So that one is harder. So we don't need to learn, learn this one first. And There's this keloid, you just need to this sensitive way. enough to feel the outside is uh, going this way or this way. Like for him, here's a line in here. It's a little bit uneven. That means. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. They have to fall. Yeah. A little bit uneven. This line. This line, this line. Okay. So that means the body has a different twist force. A little so bit uneven. This one is going down a little bit. A little bit higher, a little bit lower. This one is a little lower. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So for like so we don't need to demonstrate just have a concept that's because he's when you're healing you try to separate. So you need to reduce the separate force. And once you can reduce the separate force same thing, do needle and reduce the separate force. So how about doing masa if the patient don't like needles? I don't know how to use masa to do that. Okay. Needle stimulate the pressure sensor. Your body aware of a pressure sensor and the tissue contract. Mm -hmm. Masa is stimulate the, the temperature sensor. It's a different thing. Mm. So that's why masa only the tonify no sate. But needle can sate and tonify. Mm -hmm. Because Maxa only stimulate the, the 
the temperature sensor, so you can now create a strong physical changes. So okay, for this, so you need to use a physical way. Physical. Mm -hmm.